So how long has it been now that you've been in Amsterdam? Since uh, September of 2013, so almost five years. Almost five years? Almost five years. So have you really sort of gotten to know the city and, and all the attractions? Oh yeah, very much so. There's so much to do here. There's all sorts of things. You know, there's the, the museums, there's the fun stuff, the bars, the coffee shops, that sort of thing. Do you still go to the museums or are you, you uh, we, still Well, it's, it's funny because when we first got here, it was more, we were more into the, you know, the, the coffee shop scene. And then when we, now that we have kids and everything, we're more into the museum scene. So it really has both sides in Amsterdam. But you there's know. lots of stuff to do here. Oh, all sorts of things. So tell me, how did you first get into poker? Uh, well, I started playing home games with my friends as far back as high school. And then when I went to college, you know, it was the start of the poker room with Poker Stars expanding and everything. So I got a Stars account in 2003, and I was playing, uh, you know, 10 cent, 25 cent on like a $40, you know, my friend sent me, and I ran it up because back then it was so easy. All you needed to do was do some very basic research, and you could just start winning right off the bat. From there, I played a lot in college. I paid all my bills in college with poker. And then when I graduated, I had a real job for maybe like a month. And then I decided, eh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna play poker full time. Uh, I sort of jumped right in, and it's been going well ever since. So I started the stream about two years ago because I wanted to kind of bring poker back to America because I know a lot of people who watch Twitch are Americans and I thought I was sort of uniquely positioned as an American who lives in Amsterdam to be able to stream on all the sites that people used to remember playing on. And so you've also branched out from live streaming on Twitch to commentating for the WPT and for some of the WPT Deep Stacks event, how has that been? It's been really fun. I love being associated with the WPT brand. It's one of the oldest, most iconic brands in poker. You know, like I used to watch the World Poker Tours on TV, and I think it's really cool now that I can be involved with uh, commentating them myself. And how about Holland Casino? Do you play here a lot? Yeah, I do actually. I, I play the cash games here. Uh, they have pretty good cash games here, up to 5-5 five, five mostly, but then sometimes they'll go as high as 5-10, 10-20. Twice a year we'll have really good tournaments here. One time is with the WPT and one time is with the Master Classics of Amsterdam. But it's been really nice having the WPT come to town because there'll be a lot more opportunities to play big tournaments. People who wouldn't normally play this high of a buy-in will, will come to play it. And then all the traveling pros who are always you know, going around all the different events, they'll come into town as well. So poker fans get a chance to come in and see some of their favorite pros playing as well. So it really brings a huge atmosphere to the city and to the casino. Oh yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely been a huge boost to the poker scene here ever since they first started coming here. Play fun, exciting poker at clubwpt.com today.